All right, so we're back here at Polly's. This is part two of the video with the transmission. And I got the uh, comparison between the two forks. And uh, I feel like it's pretty apparent as to what the uh, issue at hand here is. On the right side, we have fork that came out of the car. On the left side, we have new fork. Now, I think our issue is pretty clear that the opening in the fork that the ball rotates in is obviously worn out on this one as opposed to the new one we just clip this in uh, to the new fork the new fulcrum ball and there is zero movement of the fulcrum ball within the fork uh, whereas like this one there's a lot of more space in that insert for there to be movement um, last night I thought the one fork was bent but it turns out that they do have a natural bend to them from the factory so all that is good um, but yeah, I think we basically found our shoe. So I just put the old fulcrum ball into the old fork and the new fulcrum ball into the new fork. And you can see how it rotates. And this one doesn't really rotate. But then also this. Um, you know, no, you know what's funny too? And it, it doesn't even have any movement in there. You know what's funny? At idle, yeah, oh, you'd hear a rattle? sometimes you would hear a rattle and it's literally, it had to have been the fork moving <laughs> around on this ball. Wow. <coughs> There's, holy crap. That's that is great. unbelievable. Up and down, in and out, whereas this is nothing. <clears throat> I think we found our issue. All right, so down here on the trams, I unscrewed the old fulcrum ball and the new one basically just screws in. It's a 17 mil. Screw it in, tighten it with a socket. And then I'm going to put the new fork on, clean and grease the input shaft and uh, as well as the output shaft for the transfer case. And then put the fork back on and the transmission will be basically ready to go back in the car. New fork is in, re-greased everything where the fulcrum ball is, uh, throughout bearing where it slides on, and uh, right here on the shift. Dude, and there's... It doesn't do this. Doesn't do this. <laughs> yeah, there's like no play. It's pretty um, cool. <laughs> yeah. So it's way better, to say the least. This is probably our issue. <laughs> uh, so... You can cut that brownie part off the set. So. Yeah, no, it's definitely our issue. <laughs> So we have everything, everything's bungee corded out of the way, uh, all the power wires, the shifter cables, it's up. So we pretty much just have this big open space. We gravity bled the slave and it was just straight up fluid pouring out of it. So kind of knocks out the fact that there's a possibility that the slave or the hydraulic system still had air in it. So we know that that is good. And now we are just going to figure out a way that we can manhandle this transmission back up into this engine bay and start zipping this thing back together. So we're having some troubles. So a little Taco Bell break. You know, clear our minds. And uh, then we'll get back into it and try and get it to work. We're just having trouble getting that back piece to clear the subframe while also being able to rotate it. And then also, clear the frame rail um, but we'll get it back it is the next night we stopped last night once we got the transmission in and we got some bell housing bolts on the transmission mount bolts on and then I had to go get some more parts at the store today and tonight it's basically going to be buttoning this thing up uh, getting all the rest of the bolts on getting the transfer case exhaust starter slave cylinder and all that stuff back on so that we can hopefully test this thing and fingers crossed it works the update so the car's all back together just finished putting all the intercooler pipes back on slave cylinders on everything is hooked up as it was before now I'm gonna try and start it and see if it will uh, work. <laughs> Shift gears while running. God, let's hope so. That's a fact.
Oh, this should be interesting. Well, hopefully, I'm going to get the Mitsubishi now. The snow stops. <laughs> so the car is done. We just finished cleaning up and it's all back on the ground. Uh, we drove it on the lift like you just saw last night and I haven't driven it on the street, but I'm gonna street drive it home. Um, it was kind of snowing. I'm hoping it doesn't actually continue to snow, but uh, hopefully everything goes, goes okay. Um, I'm gonna have to stop and get some gas. Bali just gave me $10 for gas. <laughs> Cause you know, it's a tough life out here. I just left my wallet at home. But hopefully this ride home goes smooth and everything works all right. Um, driving home with 140 tread wear, track tires in the front should be interesting. You know, with a slightly snow covered road, it just it being cold altogether, but hope for the best. All right, so this isn't terrible. The shifting, I think I still need to do a little adjustment with the uh, slave and with the pedal, but it's working enough to drive the car and I can forget how it is driving this thing and uh, it takes some getting used to it. It's also a little sketchy with the tires that I have on it and being 30 degrees out right now, but it is what it is. Back home with the car. There it is. Made the trip, stopped and grabbed some gas. Shifting's still a tiny bit weird. It shifts into gears, third gears screwed every time i go into third above like 4,000 rpm it grinds but it still goes in so whatever later date project um so i think it's gonna be good to drift this weekend i'm gonna mess with the pedal a little more tomorrow I'm not gonna worry about videoing that mess with the pedal because I, I mess with the pedal and the slave rod and this and that i gotta try and find the factory slave rod somewhere in this mess of a garage and um I'm gonna try and get it back to how we had it before this Fulcrum Brawl issue and we started trying to band-aid the problems. So shout out to Polly for helping with the bulk of this project, most of this project. Basically he did like a lot of the work. And uh, shout out to Chris who came by on the first night um, who helped us get the trans back in the car and Tyler last night who helped us get everything buttoned up as well. So I'm gonna wrap it up here guys. Thank you for watching. Um, hopefully I'll have some drifting content of this car in the next video. And, uh, like I said, I'm just gonna mess with it a little bit more and try and tweak it and get it fine tuned and dialed in. Otherwise, I mean, I drove it home, so I don't know why I can't drift it. It'll just be a pain. I'll make it work. So thanks for watching guys. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.